Joey Logano in the outside lane. Goes to the bottom. Oh, yeah, a little bit of contact from the car in front of him. He came down on him. Couldn't quite make out who that was. So there it is. The 45 of Reddick is on the outside of the 22. And the 22 is getting shoved around. Like, you know, he, he has some control. But when you're getting pushed that much, Jeff, you kind of are being steered by the car behind you. And you see it steer him into the left rear quarter panel of the 45 car Reddick. It turns him around. William Byron, he's on the outside. Larson on the inside. We'll try it again. Great pushes from both lanes. That outside looks a little more organized. Got three cars bumper to bumper. Cars jumping out of line. Chase Elliott makes a move on his teammate, Alex Bowman, down into turn one. Oh, and around goes a five. Larson goes up and tags the wall. Caution comes out again. Marty told us a while ago that Kyle, that a request came to William Byron, to, from William Byron to his spotter. Make sure I get my tires cleaned up on the restart. They did not have good grip driving into turn one with debris on them. Get them cleaned up. Man, I think Christopher shoved him a little bit too far into the corner, and he was worried about hitting his teammate, or maybe they did make contact. But Christopher Bell had the five car upset right there. Yeah. Way too much pushing too late down into the transition of turn one. Having your tires clean is really important, but having them all on the ground is more important. <laughs> they levered up the track a little bit here, taking the line away. There's contact right there. While those two are side by side, here comes the nine of Chase Elliott. And, and that he chose the four car to push down the straightaway rather than making it three wide. Man. He pushed the four right past the 11 of Denny Hamlin. That's so frustrating for Denny, and he'll have to go back to work. Oh, oh, crash! Into the wall hard. And Austin Dillon for the second time. Around in turn one, this time a hard contact. Yeah, that, that was wall a, and fire under the hood. It was a hard lick. The car got turned around, right rear first. See him throwing the steering wheel, frustrated, disgusted with what's just happened. He's running an 11th. Big hit. Oh, helmet thrown at Reddick. Angry. And I, you know, I can see his argument, but I can also see Reddick saying, hey, man, you know, I felt like you crowded me on the entry, but it, it's such a dangerous entry throw, at high speed. Back into the gas they go. 13 laps to go at Pocono. Good push on the outside. You see it. Bowman not able to get to the back of D. Hamlin. They're going to lose a few spots before they get to turn one. Oh, uh, check it up in the outside lane. Ty Gibbs had a little bit of issue there. Three wide back there for sixth. Reddick right in the middle of that. Sandwich. Oh, Robin. Contact back there. Things get dicey in the back. Martin Trex Jr. up to second now. Give up a little bit on entry if you, if you need to. Just to throttle up and beat the car behind you off the corner all the way down the straightaway. Oh, around goes a car in the back. The 48 of Bowman spins and brings the caution out. Good push at the outside line. Reddick is not to the back of the 19. The outside line's going to have to speed the momentum down into turn one. Reddick not even close to the back of the 19. The 11 clears him. And now here comes Denny Hamlin to the inside for the lead through one. He runs the five wide, almost into the fence. Up into the wall with the five, and now the momentum behind them with the 19 of Martrex Jr. Larson loses the lead, Hamlin's out front. Oh, we got a crash behind him into the tunnel turn, a big wreck. Hard, hard lick. That's Haley in the 31, and he has turned around. A lot of damage to the driver's side of the 31. And so the caution comes out once again. We saw this before, but it was Ross Chastain on the outside last year. Again, the five hard into the wall. Literally almost the same exact scenario. 
He comes down the racetrack trying to slow Denny down. Yeah, you don't mind getting run up the racetrack a little bit, but when you get run up the racetrack this much to where now there's contact Look and it pushes slams. you out of the groove, you have no choice but to lift out of the throttle and you're still going to hit the wall. So, yeah, I don't blame him. I'd be mad too. Hamlin has Harvick behind him. Martin Truex Jr. on the inside. Joe Gibbs racing side by side. That inside line just fails to connect every single restart. Truex side drafting hard. Here comes the 45 to the inside. Reddick couldn't get to the 19. And now Reddick drops back to fourth. And two car lengths separate Hamlin from Martin Truex Jr. They're one and two, under three laps to go. Truex not able to close the gap. Oh, there's a spin. The 41 of Priest is around. Make no slight yet. contact. No, he's not going to make contact with the inside wall, and no caution has come out. Reddick to the inside for second. It's one lap to go. Presented by Greta One Bank. Drag and race down the front straightaway for second place between Reddick and Truex. The 41 still sitting there, not refired. Now he gets going. Trying to get going. You see the flames coming out of the exhaust of the 41. He can't get it refired. They need to throw a caution right here. The caution does come out. That will put Denny Hamlin in victory lane. Win number 60. And the crowd not happy. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. That is 100% the right thing to do. You cannot let those cars go by him sitting in the racetrack like that. You I, don't have a choice. We all hate it, but there's no choice right there. I don't believe that's what they're booing. <laughs> Way to go, guys. I don't think that's what they're booing, buddy. Well, I, I hope not. No. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the right call. The car can't be sitting there. Somebody gets turned around, coming out of that tunnel turn. You can hear the fans frustrated. Win 50 comes at the booze of Pocono fans. The crowd. Maybe not so happy at how Denny Hamlin ended up winning this race. Well, we're going when he gets out of that car. We're going to know. Yeah. 50 wins for Denny Hamlin. 600 wins for Toyota. Ty Gibbs coming by to congratulate him. The 42 year old from Chesterfield, Virginia. Now seven times he has been to victory lane at Pocono. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.